D-S-L-R Film Noob. You just bought yourself a new camera body, say a T3i, T2i, 60D, something like that, and now you only have $400 left to buy a lens. What lens should you buy? Well, let's take a closer look at the Tamron 17 to 50 millimeter f2.8 zoom. The official name for the Tamron 17 to 50 millimeter lens is the Tamron SPAF 17 to 50 millimeter f2.8 XR LD IF. That's a lot of two letter things that I don't remember what they are called. So I've got this book out to help me cheat. Let's start from the beginning. LD is low dispersion, IF is internal focusing. XR is extra refractive, AF is autofocus. I have no idea what SP stands for. The cheaper zoom lenses usually have elements that extend out from the camera, as you can see right here. And the other thing to note is that on cheaper zoom, you don't have full-time manual focus. So you actually have to click this switch right here back to get manual focus. And as you can see, there's not nearly as much travel as there is on say a prime lens or a more expensive zoom. Tamron 17 to 50 millimeter f2.8 lens is probably not the top of the line, but it works pretty good for the price and it's a great value. The lens is very sharp, the lens performs very well and it has a fixed f-stop across all focal lengths, so it's good for filming. The Tamron 17 to 50 millimeter f2.8 lens is made out of mainly plastic when you're adjusting the focal length operates fairly smoothly with a little bit of resistance, not too bad. In order to manually focus this lens, you actually have to flip this switch right here, and the focus ring operates okay, not extremely smooth. It wasn't really designed to be operated with this particular focus ring right here. Tamron also includes a pinch in the center type of lens cap right here. I prefer this to the side pinch type because it's more convenient to get to, a little bit easier to operate, especially if you have big monkey fingers like I do. You also get this little lens tulip that goes on top right here. Nothing extremely fancy, but hey, this lens is fairly affordable. The downsides to this lens include the fact that when you zoom, the barrel extends in and out, which is kind of inconvenient. This doesn't have full-time manual focus, so you actually have to switch it into manual focus in order to use this little ring right here. The ring also moves while you're operating in autofocus, and if you keep your hands on it, you could damage the focusing motor. Adding a microphone can always show you how loud the autofocus is. I have heard reports that the bigger brother to this guy, the one that has VC, vibration compensation, I believe is what VC stands for, is a little bit softer than the original and it's not quite as sharp in the corners. This probably isn't a big deal for filming and the image stabilization may make up for that. Remember, the Tamron is a digital lens. It's only designed for crop sensor cameras. And of course, the autofocus is pretty noisy on this little guy, but at a price of 350 to 450, you can probably put up with that. Overall, I think the Tamron 17 to 50 millimeter f2.8 lens is a great buy for its price range, and it's very handy for people who can't afford to buy more than one lens. If you only have $400 to spend on a lens, this is probably the way to go until you can save up some more money and buy some good prime lenses for filming. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe.